I'm going back. You are Templar. Industria. We touched some things. It's honestly, it's been a single day and I've already forgotten so much. But apparently this place is called the library. Oh my god. Oh, okay. I thought they were all going to be different, but I think it's the same thing repeating. Kvikikshurtsvu. Kvikikshurtsvu. Yeah, I was like, that would be a real dedication to detail if every single one was different. There'd be a lot of things to load in right here. But what's happening here? The people stopped falling once I got over here? Oh. Well, it's like they only spawn if I'm not, like, looking up there. I don't like the whispering. Like I said, it reminds me of Schizophrenia Simulator. All is one and one is all. But nothing is all and nothing is one. I've already forgotten how to play. It's only been a day since I last played and I already forgot everything. Ah yes, the waiting room of Amunsul. Is this the next chapter? Is this the future of gaming? Wait, you don't already see this? It's the man and the lady. They're back. He's descended and she's still sitting sideways in a daze. Oh, he's taking a seat now. He's back. Is this like a metaphor for like what what the game, like the story of the game? Like he first he went in heads up. I came in, but I came in sideways. Right? Into the other plane. And then he went back to the real world and took a seat of power while I was still here, technically. Or still traveling through. You know what I mean? I feel like the play is like a weird metaphor for like the traveling I've done and the traveling he did. Walter, me following him. Nora, what did you do? You can rebuild your rebind your controls using the options menu. It's like they knew. It's like they knew the controls were gonna be a little weird. I think they're okay, except for the fact that for some reason the menu screens weren't optimized to use the controller. What now? I'm not gonna skip this, I have to learn. Walter! Uncle! Will you stop shouting, please? How would you expect me to find him? You're just attracting more of the machines that way. Well, I'm all open for suggestions, Mr. Hidden Microphone Man. You tell him. You see, the building on the hill, where all those cables lead to, that's the town hall where it used to be. And? Just go there. It, it, it's safe up on the hill. And you might find information about your missing... What was the name? Walter. Walter Rebel. Walter Rebel. He rebelled. Uh, and don't die, please. I'm actually starting to enjoy our conversations. I'll die if I want to, sir. Wait, how do I ask, uh, access... What happened to my gun? Where's the holster button? <laughs> it's been a single day. That's flashlight. Could have swore there was a holster button. Dental plan. Now, I guess I don't need to put my pickaxe away, do I? 
So what are these things? And what if the if the town center is safe? Why did all the cables lead back to them? It looks like these things used to be able to walk. These enclave uh, super robots. I'm just gonna. I didn't realize he was there. I'm just gonna avoid him. I think there's no microphone attachment, right? <laughs> Boy, would that have been a party. Actually, hold on. This box looks openable. I'll take this. Supply. It says so in the red stamp. Like for me, I think their eyesight's based off some sort of weird thing that I don't understand. They could definitely see, but if I just move slowly, they can't see me. What is that thing? Oh, are they sleeping or something? Don't put this down. I'm all full. Can I stealth them? Nope. Well, on the plus side, they don't have good hearing. Or good eyesight. They do have some way of sensing me, though. If I had to guess, either some kind of soul detector or thermal vision that has a limited range. Let's go ahead and try to take them out. We have some extra bullets there. Oh, crap. You guys want to have to carry loot like bullets? No? They're not so tough once you fill their weird eye cores full of lead. They're actually kind of light, too. Too bad I can't make some sort of rudimentary armor out of their exoskeleton. Alright, keep an eye out for more crates. That was kind of a heavy escapade. We're probably going to have to go inspect whatever the hell that thing is. What is this? Ah, oh, it's part of him. He fell apart. Okay. I want to stick with the gun because it feels like the pickaxe just is just for utility. It doesn't do enough damage. I usually always get hit as well. Hello? Candy? Tasty treats? Manumina? Ooh, that's... Open this in the hallway. Hopefully it's bullets so I can keep my murder sprees going. It is! And a decent amount, too. Nice. I'm full up again. Nothing else in here, right? No secrets, no clues, no answers to puzzles. No secret hard-to-read messages written in special ink. Open. Let me in! My name's Nora. I have a pickaxe and a gun. Get at me. This... <gasps> definitely not based off movement or half movement you definitely has some sort of proximity thing going on ammo full why did I absorb it then oh I forgot that was a rule I should have left it alone I don't like that there's a save point and there's bullets there at least bullets stay there if you don't need them for some reason if there's like an extra gun you just pick it up automatically which I don't like pop these open Bullets and bullets. Two. There's a lot of bullets over here. Gotta remember that. I would use that save point, but I don't need it because I'm. Well, never mind. What? Oh, wrong, wrong mouse. Uh, Do I mean I killed all three of them? I might as well, right? I don't. I don't. I think I have unlimited. I just have to get two. The mouse and the keyboards or i mean the, the typewriter i think on hard mode it's like resident evil to where you have to find like ink 
ribbons. Keep that in mind. I'm playing on normal though. It was like normal, then like hard, which is like true Dante must full synchronization mode. We just saved, so we might as well inspect whatever this thumper of the device is. Oh. Um, I'm gonna put this down. Because Nora believes in violence. I released two more bots. This one's coming over here. You can probably goof him real well. Real well. Very carefully, because he's separating like crazy. Oh, he's going down that road. This guy's the guy I want then. Does he sense his core? Is that what's happening? Alright. A little drop heavy. Reloading. He went back upstairs. I notice when they catch on fire, they run away. I'm assuming they run into the water, put themselves out, and that somehow makes it to where they live a little bit longer. Can I dispose of the bodies? Can I just be like... I can. <laughs> Good to know. I got one more over here to the left. See that? There's two more. I'm going to take them all out, though. I don't feel like leaving them alive. I feel like there's a completionist achievement for doing all the professional murdering. God, they take a lot of bullets. Where are you running to? I don't know what their motives are, man. All I know is they do a lot of damage and there's no, like, they're definitely not giving me the heals. This is the opposite of a boomer shooter. It's not quite a tactical shooter. It's more definitely leaning on the side of survival. <laughs> you get five bullets every now and then. Are you actually, the ammo so far, as long as you're not shooting crazily and missing all the time, they give you a decent amount. I mean, look at that. If anything, it's just sort of item management at this point. Just don't be a klutz, and you'll be alright, basically. Just fine. They take a lot of bullets, though. I mean, 12-round clip, and then I always end on 5 to kill them. That's 7 bullets per robot. That's a lot. I really wish they had a weak spot. Oh, you know what? I'm overthinking it. Because later on, I get more guns, and I imagine... I'll have the variety of ammos, and hopefully they won't... Whoa, 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 what is that? That one's armed, it's shooting a gun at me. No one said robots would show up with guns. Killed a bunch so far. I really hope we're good to go now. The health file. I'm not sure if I should take it now or save it for later. I'm already at half health, though. What's this? More SMG rounds. So eventually, if I kill that robot upstairs, I better get his SMG, don't I? That should help out. What's all the furniture destruction? Let's see what we got here. A piece of wood. Maybe explode it when it's not in the clustered area. Let's bring it over here. Hua. Ammo. 
oh, fool. Alright, let's think about this. He's shooting a gun at us, right? A big boy gun. Everything's locked, of course. We're gonna have to shoot him back. Probably shouldn't use this, because this will probably explode instantly as soon as he shoots me with the bullets. But I need to get something to close the distance. Or can I snipe him? You think I can snipe him? It might be a turn. I don't think it's moving. Is it a dude? Is he just bobbing and weaving up there? Anyhow, you know, it's it's kind of hard for me to be scared when not only do I have a gun, there's birds out whistling. <laughs> I'm just saying, it was creepier earlier in the game. I could I can grab the airbrush. I'm going to run out of battery soon. What about the bike? The bike's solid? <laughs> of course. Hold on. Come on, give me the bike. I think they knew I was going to do this strategy. Okay. Save game again. <laughs> okay. This game's more about strategy then. Alright. I can't run while I have the bike? Alright, I know in reality this thing has a lot of holes on it. It wouldn't be good at stopping bullets. But in video game logic, if its hitbox is a solid thing, right? That's right! Bike defense! You didn't plan on that, did you, boy? Ah! God, he was tough. Yeah, I'm gonna need to heal. Holy crap, he almost killed me. Did I get, did I get his SMG? Oh God. Oh, it's attached to him, I can't. What if, oh, stupid, give me that arm. Can I grab him? How come I can't grab him? The bike strategy was working until this guy showed up. I'm not gonna lie. I could really go for some more health packets. On the plus side, the bike strat is now pro strat. Oh, there's the SMG. You see that? Hold on, I'm gonna throw the bike over just in case. <laughs> bike strategy for the win. See, the robots, they planned for everything when it came to taking over the humans, but they never planned for the bicycle. <laughs> and I wouldn't have either. It's dead. We're basically at the same health level. No harm, no foul. What about this thing? I guess it can't be useful, because all I can do is throw it, right? Unless there's some sort of secret attached to it. Hold on, I'm going to stealth save again. I don't trust myself. I don't trust it, man. I'm going to die. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take an arrow to the knee and that's gonna be it. We'll bring this with us too. It does its part. Hold on, is this open over here? Is that health? It is. Oh Did I save it? They actually do a decent amount of damage to me, don't they? I feel like just drinking this one. Come on. Ammo full. Door locked. Door locked. 
Alright, oh, I got a sneeze coming. I can feel it. It's hiding in there. It's on the edge. It's on the cuspus. It's on the cult of personality. What's it doing in there? I don't know. Does Nora even know what she's doing at this point? Because I have no idea. I'm just sort of doing things. Oh, nice. We'll save that for when things get hairy. I've completely lost track of that red thing. There's my bicycle. That's good, right? What's that? What happened to it? It exploded. Are there mines? Oh, don't give me the smooth, cool jazz now. I'm gonna run out of flashlight. All the doors are locked. Recently, something exploded down the way. I'm evolving the bicycle strategy. Actually, this, I think the bicycle still spurry because I can see through the bike. It blocks the bullets, but also I can see. At the same time, we need to discover why this guy over here exploded. Got something here. Bring it to the light. See if it glistens. Oh, God. What? Did he get back up? What is it? Okay, so when they catch on fire, they can still attack you, but eventually they die. I decided to experiment with them for some reason. So maybe those other dudes don't take seven shots. They might only take four or five, if depending on where the shots land. But still, you think if I throw a bicycle at... Ha! Is it afraid of me? Use four direct shots for these little guys takes him out pretty good. What does he do? He kick me or something? Look at this goggle little freak. He's kind of cute. Ooh. He's like got like a he's got like an ooh face on him. Oh, it's because the bullet wounds. But look at him. Just a different version of a walking gonk droid. Look at that guy. Just a different version of the the floor cleaners from the Empire. All right, this door is just for decoration. All right, bike, let's do this to my bike. It's Misty's bike. We finally found it. <laughs> she can finally stop being following Ash around going, this son of a... owes me a million dollar yen bike. So, where is everyone? Dead. What happened here? Dead. The whole town was evacuated after years of war. Atlas was too strong. Um, Atlas? Oh, sorry. You wouldn't know. Uh, these machine things that want to kill you. They're Atlas. Hello? They're Atlas? Still there? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm here. I'm sorry. Uh, how long ago was this? Uh, let me think. Uh, Atlas has been around for about 20 years. Oh no. Hakovic was evacuated ten years ago. Oh, as a 
Sure seems to. So when when am I introduced? 1989, right? You said you were looking for old boy, Captain Jehusophat. Even when the world is ending because of a robot invasion, they still have time to make tea over there. I see. Well, um, over and out, I, I gotta think. And you drink your tea. I'd concentrate more on fighting. There you go. is happening here it's 20 years in the future from 1989 or not, not 1989 it wasn't 1985 what year was it someone tell me the robots atlas became self-aware and said you know what i can do time travel better than these humans watch hmm what if the bicycle is like the achievement from the gnome for Half-Life? You gotta bring it to the end. Nah, that's not possible, because I think I've gotta go back to the dreamlands. Bike boy? Okay. Just looking around. And this steampunk hellscape I built for myself. Looks like I'm supposed to go down there. Little oh, do they know. I have a bike. Ooh. Flashlight fuel. I heard that. I heard that humming sound. That's the humming sound of evil robots. I recognize it anywhere. Years and years of studying bicycle sounds have taught me the difference. Alright, now how could I actually be scared of anything? Not only do I have a gun, I also have a bike. Hello? Billy? Well, this isn't super creepy at all. off all they left me was some bullets and some painful memories oh god what happened to my bike no one forget that <laughs> that battery just in case ah it's me Nora I come bearing gifts. Huh. I don't think the bike's gonna do the trick. Also, this door seems to be spider sealed. Is that normal? Some of the universe is clipping right there, which is fine. 
to be expected. Beds. They were sleeping in here. More battery. We're doing okay for now, though. What is this? An item. Nightlatch Blues. What this will this attract the robots? They like the sound of porcelain exploding. Man, some tough porcelain. Oh my god, I don't have a reflection. Nor is a ghost. Recently, I've acquired a gun that can make a difference. This gun right here will probably stop the robot invasion in its tracks. This is the weapon I was looking for this entire time. My old friend. You were always by my side. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I forgot that down was heal. My bad. Got too excited. Just comparing the shotgun to the moon blade. My SMG ammo's full. Let me carry 32 of those suckers? Come on now. You got any cram or pork and beans? Oh, there you go. I guess I could have done that to get around the robot. What? Oh, it's more SMG. Alright, so if I play the music, what happens? Does the world end? Like... Do I want to play the music? I guess it is the only thing to do. Didn't mean to get that battery. Get away from me! Okay. There's one more up there. <laughs> Looks like this one's got an arm off. What was that? Did he manage to get downstairs and get confused? Oh, he's in here. Ooh. Yoinkus. They're starting to load me up now. They give me a bigger, slightly bigger health bar. No! That's right. There's something wrong with their tracking system. Saw that? He started to swing wildly, and he didn't even get close to me. Trying to be quiet. Hopefully this thing doesn't have like a microphone thing. Or me just talking to myself and thinking about my feelings. My robot invasion feelings. Oh. Nope. <laughs> Juke him. He's dead now. You know what sucks about these robots? They're they're really quiet. They're just quietly waiting for you to show up so they can try to punch you to death. Oh, so how'd we lose? We had guns. I have guns. They seem to move really slowly. I mean, they have guns too, but they're not like wizards with them. I guess we'll see what happens once we finally get to like the ones that can snipe. Ladle. For the soups. Hey, if I come over here and... Just open that up now. Okay. 
I'm gonna go play that music now. <laughs> I've, I've killed like five or six of them up here. Wait, does the music tell me something? Is like a secret is revealed? Oh, I gotta, I gotta do this. That makes it a lot less creepy. Oh, look. What do we have here? Like any other day, I drove out the fjord at 5 a.m. to check my nets. Just as I was sorting the by bacatch. The bacatch? I felt a deep rumbling from inside the fjord itself. I leaned far over the railing, and I could not believe what I saw. Deep beneath the surface was a bluish light emanating, going... Alright. I think we progress enough to say that we're probably not coming back. So let me go ahead and quickly come back here. Where was it? I thought it was right here. You know what? Let's go grab this one over here. Thank you. Alright, I admit the random robot noise is way deep in the background. Kind of creeped me out a little bit. Okay. Gosh, it's dark in here. Make sure everything's reloaded. Big thing of bullets. Thank you. Now I was in here. There's this pistol. Yeah, let's grab that. Damn, that gun didn't have a lot. They weren't saving nothing for me. What's that weird? Ring, ring. Is that the sound they make when they're having deep thoughts with the deep? I wonder if there's a pacifist run for this game. Everyone was evacuated because the robots were really cool and strong. Go to this one first. It's a bathroom of some kind. Jesus, lady, you can open up the door more stealthily, maybe? You just swing it open, squeak. Nice. There's a battery there. I don't trust that. Though. Ooh, SMG. Nice. More SMG. Oh, they thought I was going to be spraying praying up here, didn't they? Okay. Bring a little low on pistol. It's like the slowest FPS ever made. You're just a you're just a lady who's never fired a gun before, and now you're in the future killing robots. You just gotta deal with it, right? That'd be kind of interesting. The game starts off as a horror, then slowly turns into a regular shooter. Like, she gets more and more confident. Starts carrying more and more ammo. Right? Finds a shirt that has pockets. You know what I mean? Ooh, a shotgun. Give me. Thank you. Take the clock. I can use that, like... 
health. Nice. All right, all right, all right. Breach and clear. Breach and clear. Hello? Another note. All the water below me reflected the light in every direction, growing and growing in intensity until the things around me were illuminated. Spooked, we immediately made our way back to the shore, with the shock still lingering within us. After today, I will record everything I witnessed there. Nobody will believe this. The Fisherman's Diary was split into several pages scattered throughout the apartment complex to hide the true meaning. Like a puzzle. Also, my flashlight drains kind of fast. I'm not gonna lie. Wasn't there another flashlight battery over here? That I just sort of skipped over? What's over here? What's that cubby for? Is that where you put your mail when you don't feel like reading it? Right? Think about your nicely put up chair when you run away from the responsibility of fighting robots. Am I wrong? I thought I I thought there was one. Oh well. Really hope we find another one. I'm starting to run low. This game is surprisingly dark. Can I read this? Is that anything? Bunch of luggage here for people that are running away, I assume. Oh, there's one. Thank God. Oh, they don't even fill it up all the way, I just realized. Well, there's a save point. Well, here we go. We got something. <laughs> we we earned something. End scene. That's the end of that scene. We made it through that scene a lot faster than the other one. Tape recording from the last Industria festival. Industria. Walter. Citizens of Hackabeck. What? This is your Walter, wait, 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 that's Walter's voice. What's going on here? Huh. Atlas failed to diminish us. How Atlas failed to scare did you us. know his first we name? Still here, this is the man forever. I'm looking for. Where is he? Who's he? Stand strong against the metallic evil outside you mean, our city walls. You're looking for Rosendahl. No, no. Yes, well, I, I, I'm I, looking for Walter. Walter Rebel, not Rosendahl. But this is King Rosendahl. Walter Rosendahl. It, it's his voice, his recording. What? Even the statue. I don't understand. And I don't know what's going on here. His voice, his statue. Had to be I'm copper, so too. I want answers. Yes, I'd like a and he didn't. He didn't wax it properly, so it got all greenified. Help me! Where is he? New diary entry. I need to shut down the high-tech blocking access to their factory ahead. Uh, the cables uh, might lead to the relays. It's like I said, he, he left the city after the evacuation he organized. Uh, just continue your way to the town hall, to his old office. Maybe you can find out. Where he headed out to. His foliage is nice. Way? You have to cross the old Rosendahl factory in front of you. After that, you can't miss it. Walter Rosendahl. Are you kidding me, Walter? He has no arms. What's he gonna do? Hug me? Oh, he's gonna nudge towards me. He took a lot of bullets for an armless guy. Does that mean I could take their legs off? Would that kill them faster? Walter, you changed your last name to Rosendahl and became a king? What happened, dude? 
I'm telling you, that play thing has, is telling the story. It's like, oh, see, you were kind of hinting this is what was going to happen. This is what already happened. You, only, you didn't even know, did you? Because you're a stupid bungler. And I'd have to be like, I'd have to wear my, oh, I'm a bungler face, you know what I mean? What is this? Hold on, is this like a triangle tin shape thing full of cookies or something? Can we get... Wolfen! You're telling me... They remembered to take all the cookies... Out with them? What are you gonna do? Does wood confuse and scare you? Pull back. Hold on. Get him to come outside. He thinks he's cool. He thinks he's too cool to come outside. All right, come on now. I like how cautious he is with the staircase. <laughs> what was that? I hear the huff and puff and breathing of more robots. Are they in there? Oh yeah, there's one right there. How do I get him to come out, though? No, I think pe robots are a lot like people. <laughs> Why is this move so fast? He kind of freaked me out a little bit. Oh, oh, he's got a friend. They got these fast moving ones, they got the zap sticks. Can I get the zap sticks? Is that how they lost the war? Getting really tired of these fast moving ones. Is that the robot part still making noises after they're dead? Honestly, oh, 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 oh. It's one of those push you forward stools. Now I'm starting to go through the ammo. All right, here we go. They had a stash back here. Come on. Don't you blink on me. Really, I can only have 12 shotgun shells? That's kind of lame. That'd be the easiest ones to carry a bunch of. Why is this goblet special? Am I supposed to drink from it? What if I destroy it? What happens then, Saruman? Oh, it's made of ethereal ghost blood. Okay. It's made of spirit cheese. I can't destroy it. On the plus side, I know for a scientific fact... Yep, that's more shotgun shells. Can't use them, though. Can I get an upgrade? Can I upgrade to carry more ammo? I'm gonna use some now. I imagine it's a one-hit quitter for the bigger guys. Got ammo and another... What's it called? Flashlight juice. I didn't even go to inspect that door over there. It's locked anyway. Now I imagine... Any robot runs up on you with this, it ends them. There you go. Hi. Part of the tour? Huh? First time?
Just SMG rounds. Just dust and echoes. And yes, if anyone's curious, I am turning my flashlight on and off to try and save battery. Oh! How come the bullets do so much more damage than anything else? Or oh, no, like that makes sense actually. I gotta get over there. Before they really hurt me. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. It's fine. What's my jump button? Why? Where'd they go? Oh, there they are. A little bit of panic. They're dead though. Making that sound. Alright, see, the thing about this is if I deactivate that, it's gonna open up something to where more robots come out. So instead of doing that, not just yet. Right, there's a leap of faith there. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, right, boys? Aha! Uh -huh. A decent amount of pistol rounds. Alright. <laughs> Years of parkour finally paid off. I'll be back real quick. I just want to come up here and make sure that my frames come back. I don't know where they went. Frames! There they are. That was weird. It does not like it when you look out to... When you use the draw distance, apparently. You <laughs> see that? Oh, something over there loaded in. That's way back there. Alright. No, that's a big one. Let's take the bathroom little one first. Also, wasn't there more? There it is. Wait, that's a note. This is the flashlight. There you go. Go ahead and pop this open. Whatever it is we're full of. Over here. Got this note. I can't read it, though. Can I read on this side? No, it's made it's special. Special note. You gotta move this out of the way. There you go. Still can't read it. It's glowing like it's a readable note, but it's not letting me read it for some reason. I can stab it, though. I can give it the stabs. I guess we'll never finish the fisherman story, then. <laughs> Forever a mystery. All right, we're doing pretty good now. I'm confident all of a sudden. Is there any secret over here? I fall down there and die. That's always a neat trick. Oh, this way. I don't like how they make so many things hum. Also, it's like, of course the robots chose the black and red theme, right? Mm. 
no like, opposite of liking, dislike, strong, strong, dislike. Why did she let go of the ladder so early? You saw how far I fall? I can literally feel myself drift backwards and almost fall in the water. Who's here? He roared, all right? He freaked me out. Why did he do that? He was one of those fast movie ones. Give me this. That giant round thing of shotgun shells was two shotgun shells. Okay. I don't remember where the typewriter was, so we're just going to wing it. What? Jeez, lady. Learn to swim. What? What? Where? Yeah, you think? <sighs> They're just camping here because they knew that I was going to follow this wire thinking that this is where the gate was going to be. This is still blocked off over here, by the way. Of course, it's not SMG ammo. Why would it be? Not make too much sense. So far, the fast moving guys and the machine gun guys are definitely a problem. Wait, where am I supposed to go? I'm confused. I went in there, I flipped the switch. Oh, there's two switches. My bad. Should've been obvious, right? That's something here. <laughs> Missed it. There it is. <laughs> it popped it. Lock it. No! Oh, they explode? Oh, that was so much damage. Oh, I would reload. What a jerk. Camping the door. This is tough. It's way more strategic than I thought. Was I about to climb over the wall just climbing this? Was that always possible? What? Do I even need to flip the switch? Is this a cheesy strategy? Oh god. No, oh, and there's fall damage. Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? Why would there be happiness in my AR game about robots in industrial land? Alright, well, they gave me three health kits and then they quickly took them all away. Where's he, where do they go? Where do they go when they run away? Is 
Is there like, is there like a repair station I don't know about? How do I climb up this stuff? I need to get in there. Or, I could just take it out. Yeah, there you go. Half-Life style. Bullets? Thank you. Alright. What are you guys doing in there? Come on out. I can't have health, I can at least be able to shoot them all. What was that? Nice. <laughs> Saigon. It's still Saigon. There's nothing over here. Are you kidding me? Not even an Easter egg. Is that a piece of ginger? What is that? The little creaking sounds there are starting to bother me. Three? Where are you? There they are. I hate it when they live. I like when the robots are dead. I'm trying to jump in there. That's it. The aiming is not intuitive enough. Oh, here they come. Crap. There's a staircase over there that I don't know about. Where'd they go? Who'd they go? That's one of those freaks. Where's the other one? Show yourself. That's right. <laughs> it's like they're panicking. Maybe they don't explode when they take a certain amount of damage. I'm guessing I killed the other one I didn't notice. Look at him there. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Stop being an individual. Freak. Stop moving. Turn down the turning speed a lot because the game seemed way more tactical than I previously thought. There you go. Before we do anything. Clear this place out. dead end. Nothing over here but a more robotic freak jobs. Okay. Slam. Jam.
Oh. I was looking at all of this and I was like, well, how do I get out of here? Science. Please be health. Of course it's not. Why would it be? Really? Are you kidding me? So just take damage from the height that I have to fall down from. That's a lot of damage, by the way. What was over here? go towards danger. Oh, he's on fire now. I think I killed the little one. Oh god, is there a fourth one? Oh, come on. I like how it tells me to heal when I don't have any healing things. Just as a reminder, we you used them all to do nothing. I swear to God, if I have to look up console commands for Industria. Tell me about Rosendahl. Where did he come from? Well, he arrives here just like you. Ah, oh, yes, now would be a good time. She knows. It's... So I have to go back and redo it. I don't want to. You know what I mean? I can imagine. He had so much knowledge. He was something like. Helping us selflessly to fight the machines that had plagued us for so long. An angel with many secrets. Well, I imagine that as a king, you got to keep quite a few things close to the chest. <laughs> Speaking of secrets, what is your relationship to him? Well, we, um, you know, love each other. We're a couple. Huh. <laughs> huh. But, you know, in theory, that essentially makes you the queen of Hackovic. <laughs> Our queen of... No, I'm trying to figure out how to put the gun away. How do I... Hold on. I accidentally opened it up anyway. Uh... Holster weapon. Oh, there's no... Okay. Of ruins, with only one subject, as it seems. Well, better than an old man in a wheelchair, if you ask me, Your Majesty. Oh, come on. We were lovers. How come I can't read this? How come, what happened? I mean, are there multiple instances of the same story?
Rosendahl. God Emperor. Wait, what was the point? Oh. I'm supposed to go that way. Alright. Alright, actually, you know what? It's actually been a while already. I didn't realize how long it had been. We're gonna have to do a cut right here. Next time, we're gonna crawl through that tunnel and find out what's on the other side. Thank you all. I would leave my flashlight on, but it's slowly draining over time. So instead, we're gonna we're gonna do a very rare outro in the dark. Just 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 darkness. That's what we're gonna leave with. Thank you all. Hopefully, you all enjoyed Ewok Templar. We're going through Industria. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit that like button. Keep on posting. We'll see you on the next episode. Y'all take it easy.